and Co was already one of the most popular freelance platforms to handle your your contracts and your projects and your expenses and your billings well Fiverr just acquired them and they turned the entire product completely free and they didn't take away any of the features so I'm gonna go in this video and log in and show you the process and take a peek inside so you can see what's going on with and Co stay tuned Hey, this is David back with another Tech Smart Boss video. We're going to talk about this company called Anco, A N D dot C O. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because they were just acquired by Fiverr, which is a very popular freelance community. And the big deal about it is they made it completely free. It used to be a paid service. You could get some pretty. It didn't cost a lot, but it was paid, and they do have a lot of a lot of freelancers using it. But now it's free, and the reason it caught my eye is because one of the key things that it allows you to do is track your time, track your expenses, invoice your customers. But this one right here, collect payments. And before with Anco, if you were on their free plan, they would put like a 1% transaction fee on your payment. That's in addition to what your Stripe or whatever your credit card processor would charge you, which is typically about 3%. Well, they've gotten rid of that. So now, you know, I, I all the time I get invoices or I get things from people, uh, developers and designers and, and all sorts of folks that they want you to pay them with a check or something like that. Believe it or not, there's still people out here who don't take online payment. When there's something out here like Anco, which is complete, completely free and no additional transaction fees, there's no reason not to other than you're, you're, you're really just too cheap to pay the 3% from stripe and if that's the case you need to raise your prices but there's a whole lot of stuff in this platform if i look at the features really quick here invoicing contracts task management time tracking expense tracking payments and reports so it's a pretty robust freelancer platform what i'm going to do is sign up as if i am a brand new freelancer looking into this product i'm going to take a look around and show you uh what i see as i go through it so let's go through their onboarding process and take a look um, you could do it Facebook. I wouldn't recommend doing that, not with uh, a business, but I always recommend setting up your own email as well, because if you get locked out of Facebook, you don't want to get locked out of your platform. Let's go ahead and it looks like it's doing some kind of validation or something against my uh, ID there and not activating my join button. So let's give that a second to process there. It could be that there's so much load on their servers right now from this announcement oh look at that that's really strange because i can guarantee you i've never done that before but i'll tell you what i'm going to do if that's the case i'm going to use a variation of my email and see if this one is free but i'm pretty sure that i've never uh, signed up for an anco account before i suspect that their servers are so busy they've got some validation checking going on yeah look at that that's coming back for everything right now so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to pause this video for a second. I'm going to log in with my Facebook account. And let's see if we can get in that way. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. So definitely they've got some server load issues going on here. So hopefully we don't have any other problems. But let's go ahead through their onboarding. What's on my name? Pull that in automatically. Profession, I'm just going to say consultant keep it simple and experience level that's interesting I'm, I'm pretty sure they're segmenting me for marketing purposes and gonna give me some sort of um, drip email campaign or just relevant offers based on that so I'll put expert see what comes out of that then it wants to know business info so I'm gonna go ahead and put um, that's interesting you can use your own personal name so a lot of freelancers don't actually go out and incorporate they're just doing sole proprietor type stuff I'll put smart boss Tech smart boss on there um, US dollars United States just me okay so I, I want to actually do team see what that opens up in terms of their product and let's go ahead looks like it does want me to select their region format and I think because of these server issues I am having a little bit of issue there so now generally I would never say to hit the refresh button as you well let's hit done again. oh okay great it got past it that time did not have to pick that region and it says I'm all set up now 
and I'm not going to enable notifications but I would recommend you do that generally if you were going to use this product on an ongoing basis but I'm gonna go ahead and skip that that so now I'm in there so that was really clean and smooth assuming that there wouldn't be any server load issues I'm gonna give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because this announcement just came out so I'm sure they got a lot of people coming into this platform um, so that that did pretty well this looks like a pretty clean interface they've got a little bit of onboarding um, set of tasks here that we could do create our first expense first invoice using your own branding and extremely important automating expense tracking that sounds interesting so there my desk sounds like their their dashboard perspective looks like a big create function here where I can create things invoices expenses tasks proposals and a subscription model which is really nice recurring revenue for a consultant is where you want to be let's go through and click through a couple of these to take a look at what we see proposals and this is really annoying I'm gonna go ahead and just save that so it stops popping up um, let's go ahead and hit create proposal or contract and see what we can get from that it looks like there we go so I'm just gonna call this uh, Acme Corporation if anybody's familiar with the uh, old Bugs Bunny cartoons they'll get a laugh out of that uh, let's call this bugs at techsmartboss.com I won't I won't automatically guess somebody's email and have them start to get email bugs bunny on that let's see what comes up okay so you can set your project terms you can set a fixed fee or an hourly rate you can add services so this uh, this is like a little almost like an invoice type of setup but it's on the project terms requiring deposits so this this I mean I like this this is really clean really easy I'm gonna go ahead and get out of there for a second look look at projects similar type of interface there's your subscriptions you can have a whole database of clients really nicely so this is almost acts like a little bit of a CRM from that perspective now time tracking uh, you can set up some timers it looks like so you can track how much time you're spending on a client this is all pretty uh, standard in this freelancer type of application so this could be great and I'm sure this probably comes right into your billing and your invoices and then this is their claim to fame is being able to create invoices look at that connect to your bank account really nice for a free application keep in mind all of this is free at this point track your billable expenses other expenses your income and then the shoebox is pretty interesting from what I understand and you can read it here you can forward any files or emails or receipts or things like that to a specific email box here and it'll upload them and turn them into expenses or income and you can attach them to your projects and do all those sorts of things so I like this this is this is for a free application this is a great move by Fiverr um, to just buy this product out turn it free I'm sure they're gonna get a whole lot of new leads that they're going to market to and try to sell their Fiverr um, uh, uh, products to and then you'll see here support looks like there's a inline chat that you can leverage so let's take a peek at settings before we uh, wrap this up this is probably where you can do your branding there's a mobile app nice to know that so there's my payments let's see which uh, payment gateways they support so actually it looks like they might have that built in that you might not have to even go to Stripe and get an account but it looks like if you did want to hook up your Stripe or your PayPal that you can do that so you know honestly that's probably another way that they're making a little extra bit of money off of the transaction fee here um, by owning their own payment gateway so that's pretty savvy but I would recommend using Stripe just because Stripe has a lot of uh, safety features and, and just reporting and, and, and it's just a really nice application that you can use on other tools not just this one tool so that that's the primary reason I would say to use stripe and then you've got some default settings you can set up very important to have your default terms and conditions it looks like you can do that uh, connect your bank account that's that would be really nice if instead of having to send in receipts you can automatically download your um, expenses from that there's the custom branding and this is really nice again in a free application to be able to remove the and co branding very nice and then to put your logo and your colors throughout so they did not skimp on that you've got your business information now this is a really powerful piece here 
especially I, I just for this to be free is fantastic. You've got Slack integration, you've got Zapier integration, you've got your Google Calendar integration here, and you even have uh, if you're doing e-commerce, you've got a Shopify integration here. But I really love the Zapier because that's going to let you tie it into every other TechSmart Boss application that you have. Uh, there's the account information. There's the notifications we turned on, and that and that looks to be about it. Clean, simple, powerful, and free. I don't think you can do much better than this for the price. And if you are a freelancer and and one of those uh, spaces where you're sending out projects and doing proposals and collecting money, this this seems to be the go-to platform um, to start with at the very least. And then as you grow, you might want to move into a more robust or, or platform that you pay for. But for free, I don't think you can really beat this. So hopefully you like this video. If you do like these, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go out to Facebook. Follow our Facebook page, facebook.com slash techsmartboss. And head out to our website, techsmartboss.com, and see what we're doing out there. And check out our podcast that we put out every week. So with this, stay tuned. Uh, we'll have another video in a week. Thanks.